Hey, hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this Azure DevOps tutorial series, today let's discuss about what is service connection in Azure DevOps. Okay, so in ADO, a service connection is a secure way to connect Azure DevOps to external services like Azure, uh, Docker Hub, GitHub, AWS, and many more. Okay, uh, so let's try to look what and where are service connections. So if you go into any project, okay this is the project i've been using for demo purposes once i go into the project under project settings you can see there is an option called service connection okay so i i do not have any service connection created already so i'm gonna create a create i'm, I'm gonna click a create service connection so once i click you can see there are many type of service connections that is displayed over here okay so you can see azure repos team foundation server Azure Resource Manager, Azure Service Bus, and so on. There are many type of service connection. Okay, so as I said, it is used to connect to any external services. Like you can see Docker host, you can see GitHub, you can see Kubernetes, you can connect to Jira, and many more. Okay, so this way, what you can actually do is, if there is a requirement for you to deploy or do any activities by connecting to external services, then you can use this service connection in your Azure pipeline. Okay, so that way you can easily authenticate and connect to the external services. Okay, so um, in detail, if you see what service connection is, it, it's like a configuration that allows Azure DevOps pipelines to authenticate and interact with the external services securely. Okay, it is mainly used in the CACD pipelines to deploy code, run scripts or interact with any APIs or infrastructure. Okay, let me um try to create a service connection here in uh, okay uh, let me try to create a service connection so azure resource manager is typically the um, the most commonly used uh, service connection type so i'm just gonna select it so once i select it you can see there are many authentication type okay you can um once you select the drop down you can see there is app registration automatic app registration or manage identity manual manage identity okay these and all are different type of authentication types okay i will try to cover a separate video for this but just try to understand these are just a identity type okay and then we have a credential okay what type of credential do you want to provide it is it workload identity federation or is it just a secret something like that okay so next you have is the subscription management group ma machine learning workspace okay these are different scope levels okay um subscription is like an active subscription in your azure portal uh, when you when i say subscription you imagine like a, a plan okay so uh, you have a netflix plan or a prime video plan right similar to that in azure you will have different kind of plan okay so you have a free service plan you have a um uh, in a paid uh, plan okay premium plan there are many types of subscription um you can select okay so here for now, you know, subscription is the widely used, okay? And then you have something called management group. Management group is more like a collection of uh, subscription, all right? And then you have machine learning workspace. These are, these are different type of scope level. We'll look into it in detail in our upcoming videos. But for now, let's have subscription. But one disclaimer is I will not, so I don't have any active subscription as of now because I know it is, um, you know, I have to <laughs> provide my credit card details in the uh, Azure portal even for a free subscription I have to provide that which I'm not comfortable with so I have not created any active subscription for this but in real time if you work on any projects where Azure is actually used so you will definitely have some subscription okay so in those situation you can provide the you can select the subscription uh, there will be a uh, pop-up here to select the subscription you can select that and provide the uh, details okay and then once you select the subscription you can provide a service connection name so let's call it as se underscore dev or prod okay any subscription name you can provide and then uh, other steps are autumn uh, you know, optional columns okay once you have an active subscription and you have provided a service connection name you can save it okay so then the service connection will be automatically created okay sorry for that i don't have an active subscription but in real time, this will be very user friendly and you can easily create it. Okay, so once you create a service connection, 
what you can do is you can go to the pipeline okay so if you go to any of the pipeline which i have been using for demo okay this is the one i have been using for demo purposes if i try to edit this okay this is the yaml you can see under stage i am trying to deploy to dev um i am downloading the build artifacts and then i have ran a simple task okay download build artifacts and powershell script for example let's say you want to connect with any external services like azure or let's say if i wanna try i'm trying to deploy anything to azure uh, synapse or any azure data factory or any other uh, azure resources in those kind of situation i can actually use a um service connection let's see a very basic example okay there are many advanced examples but i don't want to confuse you with confuse with lot of information for now but let's take a basic example i will add another task okay let's say let me call it as task azure cli at 2 okay and then inputs these handle are generic syntaxes okay so as you tap tasks am i doing it correctly no tasks inputs under inputs you can provide a service connection name okay so do not get carried away with the name called azure subscription this is not subscription here this is actually a service connection so let's say you once you have created the service connection let's call it as sc underscore or what do we created sc underscore dev right so we can provide the service connection name here so once you provide the service connection it will get authenticated and connect to the external service here we are using azure C command line interface right which is like an uh, azure uh, uh, service right so in here service connection is a mandatory column so if i run it as script let's say i am gonna try to run a ps core script script um, location let's call it as inline script so inline script will be just give a some uh, print right host message that should be enough and i'm just trying to depict a basic example but however this will not run because my service connection is not active right so let's call it as hello for now okay so now when i try to save this okay it will throw an error because we don't have an active service connection mm, what is the error we are getting okay I have not intended it properly. That's it. Mm. Mm. Okay, now if I save this, it will throw an invalid subscription, invalid service connection name. You can see. See, uh, job down in step input Azure subscription references service connection SCD which could not be found because I have not created it. Okay, but once you create an active service connection and try to connect to any azure services this will definitely run okay so in case if you have any if you if in your project or in your real time in, in your real time project or in your office work or if you have an active subscription as well just try to run and um, run, just try to run this simple script or try to deploy anything like uh, to azure synapse or um, an azure event subs or Azure Data Factory, just try to deploy anything by connecting to uh, the Azure services by using service connections. That way it will actually help you. Um, uh, and, uh, so that's how you can easily connect to Azure services using service connections. Okay, so 
yeah that's all what i want to cover as part of this video guys so once you know please give a try and if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section if you like this video please subscribe and follow my channel thank you